Hi, I'm Lisa from Injury Recovery Coaching, and thank you for joining me. Today in this video, I want to talk about some coping strategies that you can use during those times where you feel overly anxious or overwhelmed with emotions that are occurring. So let's get started. What I want to talk to you today are about some coping strategies that are called self-soothing. So um, in using these, then you can step back and look at the situation more objectively. And to help you remember these strategies, uh, they utilize the five senses. So scent, sound, sight, touch, and taste. And I'll give you examples of each. To begin with, let's address our sense of smell. Now, there are some common scents that do help calm our anxiety, and here's a few of them. Now, sound can evoke a lot of emotion, yet soothing sounds can help calm us. Now, there are a lot of sounds that you can download, sounds and songs that you can get on your computer or on your phone. And that's a great way to, you know, listen to some soothing sounds. I have just a few ideas to follow. What we see can directly affect our emotions. So if we focus on peaceful, serene sights, then that can help us manage things a little bit better too. Here's some examples. Our skin is our biggest organ, so anything that soothes us physically will definitely help us relax. Now let's discuss our sense of taste. Our sense of taste can be an advantage, or we got to be careful because it can become a disadvantage. So often we tend to eat to deal with our emotion, but instead, if we can grab something a little bit healthier to distract us from the emotion until we can manage those feelings a little bit better would benefit us. So here's a couple examples. The important thing to remember is that certain coping strategies will work for you and others won't. So the main thing is, is to try them out, see what works, create a list. So when you're in the situations where you're feeling stressed out or highly anxious, you can pull out that list and have a variety of things that, that you can try. Now, the self-soothing coping strategies we talked about today are, uh, can, are good for, like I had said, those, those high anxiety times um, when you just want to be able to step back, get out of that emotion, and then go back and, and face the situation at hand. There's tons of coping skills. And, you know, stay tuned. Um, I do plan on doing a few more videos on the other variety of coping skills. So make that list of what works for you and keep it handy. And I would appreciate if, you know, if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. 
go ahead, subscribe to the channel. As I said, more videos will be coming. And I would love to hear from you. If there's uh, certain topics you would like uh, to have me discuss, or if you have any feedback for me, or just want to get in touch with me, go ahead and do that. So for now, take care and I'll see you later.